Good day, Crustacean Nation, Sir Prawnalot here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about rocks, the hard, hard truth about rocks. Uh, how to take care of them, how to make them look great in an aquascape or your fish tank, what to do and what not to do. People use you know, rocks in their fish tanks and their aquascapes all the time, I do it myself, and a lot of us don't care for them properly. And I want to make sure that everybody knows how to care for their rocks before they, you know, go out and buy 10 rocks and then they're stuck with all these rocks, they don't know what to do, they don't know what to feed them. Something that does happen, and it happens to too many new aquarists or fish keepers. So today I'm going to walk you through how to take care of your rocks and how to make sure they'll thrive in your aquariums. So when I get my rocks, I like to give them a good clean first off. So I usually take a paintbrush like this. And just give it a little brush down, make sure I get all the dust and the particles off. Then you want to go and take your rock uh, to a nice place where you've got a hose or maybe even a tap or a sink and just give it a nice wash. Uh, it doesn't really matter what setting you do the hose, it's better to do it on the harder setting like this, just so you can give it a good spray down and make sure you get any uh, little naughty bugs or anything off it that may cause disease for the rock. Make sure you uh, get its belly because that's the dirtiest place on the rock and you just want to give it a good old spray down. After you're done spraying the rock, make sure you give it a good dry down as that's the most important part when it comes to washing your rock. Um, you give it a good scrub and a nice little dry off and that'll just keep it nice and healthy and also give it a little extra shine. So once you've given your rock a bit of a wash, you may want to put it down, give it a little rest and um, have some playtime with it. So I like to might find a little cushion, put it on and um, you know tend to it and whatnot. Uh, this can be problematic because when the rocks get nice and restful, they will poop. And that is not great. Uh, they do a bit of a mess and it's not the greatest cleanup. So to clean up the poop, you just want to take your rock away from the poop or the affected area. This is a good chance for you to teach your rock some discipline and put it in timeout and, you know, teach it some toilet training. A simple verbal warning and a timeout chair in the corner will definitely uh, set it straight and it will learn from its mistakes. I do recommend using a paper towel to clean up their poop as it can be a bit yucky and smelly and definitely try toilet training your rock. I've also made a bit of a poop pile for my rock's poops, so I just chuck it in there whenever I have to clean up the poop. So you may start to feel that your rock is lonely and by a friend. Just be wary that they will breed, uh, doesn't matter if it's a boy and a girl or not, they will breed and have a baby, so be prepared to look after that baby. And when it comes to the end of the day, you just want to make sure you tuck your rock into bed and give it a nice pat, uh, maybe even sing it a lullaby and you know, tuck it in nice and snug because they like to stay warm during the night. And just remember, a rock is for life, so treat it with as much respect as you would a person. Uh, they have feelings too, and a lot of people neglect their rocks. But it is very important that you treat them well, treat them with respect, and look after them very well, because one day they may have to look after you. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you liked this video.